Hello and welcome to this video presenting an example of how to use the UI designer. We build a script from a new project, so that you can reproduce it independently of other scripts. After creating a new project, we go from the perspective of IU designer. In the resources window, a right click on the pop-up item selects the first menu and a new pop-up. The name given to the pop-up will be reused in the workflow designer. The module will be that of an empty pop-up. OK we can now create the design of the pop-up. A right click on this window gives access to a set of objects that can be inserted in the pop-up. Let's start by inserting a container, which will receive all the objects. Containers are groups of objects, which can be moved more easily together. Then let's insert for example a callout object in order to put a header to this pop-up. We modify in the parameters part on the right the hook for this title. There is a test mode, default, with the associated test value below the title. We do not modify it for this script. And in the tree view on the left, we drag created object and drop it on the container object. Let's insert additional objects, in the same way. A text object is used to enter information. Let's start with the first name, by changing some display settings on the right side. This first name field will also be used by the workflow designer, by its ID. We can also modify this parameter directly in the code, and save. Let's repeat the same process to insert the name field. And the same goes for the date of birth. We notice now that the default size of the pop-up is a little small compared to the number of objects inserted. And access to the pop-up parameters allows us to modify its height. OK, there's room to insert two more objects. We can finish this creation by adding two buttons. One allows you to cancel the input. The second one allows you to save the whole thing. The color and position settings are correctly modified. A last step to position these objects in the container. And we can view the pop-up without the design mode or the test mode. The design of the pop-up is finished. It is now a question of capturing this object, as if it were an application, which we will control. The control will be carried out here via the workflow designer. We assume that you already know how to manipulate the workflow designer perspective, from creating the workflow to adding applications or activities. Here, it is a question of displaying the pop-up. It is not an application. So there is a start, but from the pop-up page. Let's just select this pop-up from the list. Then, it is simply dragged to the design area. By double-clicking on this page, you can see that the fields have already been recognized. In this scenario, we create a context with values. We are creating a route for this context. Since we have modified the IDs in the UI designer perspective, a simple drag and drop can enrich the context with the name, first name and date of birth. The saving of this information in the context will be conditioned by clicking on the save button. Let's add a wait activity on the click.
and move the activities already created to make them depend on this waiting click. A click on save button allows to validate this first step of the process. The data is ready for use. For example, let's use a word file for the sequence, in which we will store the saved information. Let's first add access to the word function libraries available in the SDK. And let's look at the target word file together. We have prepared in this file some bookmarks, allowing to receive the data. The names of these bookmarks will be used in the script settings. In order to facilitate the portability of the script to another workstation, we propose to define the location of this Word file from a project directory. And of course to copy the file there. By dropping the file in the log directory, we are sure that the directory will always exist. The syntax must be respected to ensure that the file is properly opened. Then, each bookmark must be declared, with the data to be stored. First of all with the first name. Value is to be sought in the context. We can apply the same process for adding the name and then the date of birth. Finally, since a fourth bookmark has been created, let's resubmit the first name a second time. The script is finished. The data is saved when the pop-up is clicked. These data are stored in the Word file. After a click on the Save button, we can compile the project to detect possible errors. There is no mistake. Now let's run the script. Entering the three information, and clicking on the save button, opens the word file as planned. as well as copying the data into the bookmarks provided for this purpose. In this video you have seen the powerful pop-up creation function, which can be used as real applications and controlled in automation scripts. See you soon for more examples of use.